Rocky is a crane. Very big crane. Rocky is also very strong. Harvey is a crane too. But he's much smaller. Harvey isn't as strong as Rocky, but they're both really useful. There has been a rock fall. The track is blocked. Lots of small rocks have fallen on this line. Rocky can easily lift these small rocks, but he needs an engine to pull him along. Henry is very busy. He has lots of other jobs to do. So he has no time to work with Rocky. Here's Harvey. He isn't as strong as Rocky, but Harvey doesn't need another engine to pull him. So he's just right for this job. A very big boulder has fallen onto this line. Harvey is too small to move this big rock. So Harvey fetches Rocky. Rocky is big enough to move it. Rocky and Harvey are very different sizes. But they each did the job that was right for them. Well done, both of you. Emily is ready to leave the station. She is tingling with excitement. What's Emily pulling today? Emily is chuffing out of the station pulling buckets and spades. Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades and a big beach ball. Now Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades, a beach ball, and a stripy sun umbrella. Can you remember what Emily is pulling today? Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades, a big beach ball, and a stripy sun umbrella. Can you guess where Emily is going? Emily is puffing to the seaside. Have fun, Emily! The island of Sodor is a wonderful place. Thomas enjoys puffing all over the island. There are lots of special places to visit. Where's this? That's right, it's Tidmouth Sheds. Every day, Sir Topham Hatt comes here to tell his engines what to do. And every day, the engines leave Tidmouth Sheds to do their jobs. And they return again at night, after a day of being really useful. Once, in the sheds, Gordon kept all the engines awake at night. His firebox made a terrible noise as it cooled down. Percy called him Rattler Gordon. Gordon pretended the other engines all had very bad manners. But really, he felt embarrassed. He didn't want to be called Rattler Gordon. Then, one night, there was a shooting star. All the engines made a wish. Gordon wished to be grander. James wished to be redder. And Percy wished to pull the mail forever and ever. But when Thomas got lost on his way to the power station, Percy changed his wish. Now, he wished for Thomas to return safely to Tidmouth Sheds. When his wish came true, Percy was the happiest engine. But Tidmouth Sheds is especially important for one engine, and that's Emily. 
Emily used to live on her own at Knapford Yards. One day, Sir Topham Hatt decided to rebuild Tidmouth sheds. And the engines had to move out. James had to sleep in the dirty, dusty coaling plant. Percy and Henry slept in the smelter's yard. And Gordon slept under a tent. He was very unhappy. Thomas had to move in with Emily in the sheds at Knapford. At first, Emily didn't like Thomas being there. Thomas's sleep whistling kept her awake all night. It made her cross. But one night, Thomas wasn't there. Emily missed Thomas. It was too quiet without him. She even missed his sleep whistle. So when Emily arrived at the new Tidmouth sheds, she was very happy. An extra space had been built especially for her. Now, Emily could be with her friends. And that's why Tidmouth Sheds is very special for Emily. There are so many special places on the island of Sodor. Next time, Thomas will show us somewhere else. Here are Percy, Edward, and Henry. Percy is the smallest engine. Edward is the medium-sized engine. And Henry is the biggest engine. Today, each of the engines is going to visit a special destination. The Scottish Castle, the Windmill, and the Beach Cabin at Bluffs Cove. Percy wants to go to the smallest building. Should he go to the Scottish castle, the windmill, or the beach cabin? Let's see. Percy puffs along his track, round lots of corners. It's very twisty. Where do you think it's going to take him? It looks like Percy is going to the beach cabin at Bluffs Cove. The beach cabin is the smallest building. Well done, Percy. What about Edward? Edward wants to go to the medium-sized building. Should he go to the windmill or the Scottish castle? Edward twists in and out, around and about. Can you see where he's going yet? It looks like the windmill. The windmill is the medium-sized building. Well done, Edward. Now, it's Henry's turn. Henry wants to go to the biggest building. Henry steams along his track. It twists round to the left and round to the right and takes Henry to the Scottish castle. The Scottish castle is the biggest building. Well done, Henry. Percy, Edward, and Henry all arrived at the right building to match their size. Well done, everyone.